The reason why it fell down is it was brought just prior to Bonnie dying and, and all of the turmoil that happened here. But uh, we're getting re-engaged as much as possible. And the MEDC does have funds to help communities. And you will have to be part of this program to and engage with them on an ongoing basis to try to get some of those funds <coughs> into this township. So we are uh, we're actively pursuing that, and, and once again, I hope the board still supports it. I know I think it was prior to Rick coming out because okay. Bonnie was still here. So, okay, I'll make a motion to appoint Bruno as Capital Improvement Plan Signatory and Coordinator <laughs> with the authority to do whatever is necessary to move this grant and plan forward. Is there any second to that motion, guys? I'll we'll speak to that. I'll second it. Okay, motion and right. support. I have something to say here. Nobody gets carte blank. We need to work at an open meeting with these people, and we bring things to these people. No one gets carte blank anywhere here. But you, you just make all the decisions, do whatever you want. That's what that said, and I'm not in favor of that. No, this that board is needs to be sitting at this table to be empowered one little teeny bit. The motion is what is is what it was stated. Uh, they're asking for an authorizing signatory so that we can have a letter of engagement signed. You, you will need a signatory. Uh, if you need somebody to sign something, if we're going to involve this board, then bring it here and we'll say yes or no, Brian, we're going to sign it. Uh, That's going to happen, but somebody has to sign it and they have to have it on file who the signatory is. We can, yeah, okay. We'll put, we'll put you their, on bio, but... It's at uh, their request that they have a signatory from this board. Is, but then I want to know uh, what you're signing, and I want these people to know what you're signing, period. And you can be the signatory. I'm not signing anything. We just need a signatory. Oh, well, <laughs> okay, if you're not signing anything, what do you need a signatory for? Because it's part of the program. Should I tell them they're wrong? I'll talk to them. They got a phone number. It's the Army DC. I'll, uh, I will get a hold of them and see what would need to be done there. And I, all right, I'll just ask them. No, no diss on anybody. It's just I just a want signatory. to know. They, they just want somebody on file, just like at the bank. Right. You, yeah. You put people on file, but I want to make sure that's all it is. I've been burned too many times by this board. Uh, so, I will find out if there's any other authority in that other than it just being on file, and I will. Okay, you can vote. And I will tell anybody that needs to know that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those nope. Opposed? Nope. I'll make sure first. Motion passed. How did this? Uh, I didn't hear all those. Okay, this Kaiser and Old Klein. What was yours? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. I appreciate the, uh, the crowd here being patient with us and uh, going through this. I'm looking for my agenda. Right there it is. That's the last one, of course. Okay, it's time for public comments. The first one that uh, was handed in was Mr. Lima. I've got a couple of things for the board. Uh, recently, a letter was sent out from Mount Rusty County Community Development. It was sent to Biley Township. It was sent to the Planning Commission. Uh, I don't know how many people on this board have seen this. Ed, would you open your eyes and look at it, please? <laughs> I don't know if have I've seen, seen it or this? not. I mean, I can't. I haven't it, seen but it, I, but I'm pretty sure Bruno showed it to me. Uh -huh. This Did is an open invitation. Yeah. <laughs> this is an open invitation by Montmorency County EDC to attend the meeting on September the 18th at 5:30 at the courthouse, where we have guest speakers coming in, uh, two of them, uh, very highly qualified to speak to us with regards to working to fill our vacancies and our townships <coughs> around the communities and working together throughout with organizations, all the planning commissions, chambers of commerce, uh, the, the realtors, 
throughout the county, uh, people that are involved in, in bringing people to our community. That's what this is for. Obviously, it has not been disseminated to the individuals in this room. I really would like to know why. It hasn't been given to the Planning Commission, where I would have known about that as well. It has not been. So what I'm finding here is a lack of working with the EDC, Michigan EDC, which you just spoke of and said you're ready to do redevelopment. If you are, there's a lot of things you obviously don't know that are in effect right now. And I think that it would be wise of you to attend this meeting. I'm very uh, upset that nobody has responded on this board with the exception of Nancy Kaiser. Can I have that so, date and time again? September the 18th, 5.30 p.m., refreshments to be served, guest speakers. Meeting is set for one and a half hours. And what is your, what is your, the name of your organization that's, that's uh, county the redevelopment Mid plan? Montmorency County mm -hmm. Economic Development. Economic Development. My corporation. Okay, thank you. Which is the MEDC. Um, so I'm, I'm a little upset that none of this has been disseminated to your board or to the planning commission within this township to show that you're even interested in economic development in Atlanta and Briley Township. It came in writing and uh, it was here on the desk for everybody to view. I don't know how many people come into the office, but it was available to everybody. Where's my guidance? Can I, that's what I'm saying. Why was it I, not disseminated into a packet for the board members? Can I recommend you? that, be that done those communications be done by email? That way we can easily disseminate them without having to run through the copiers. Irrespective of how it was delivered, you know, it should be shown to the people on the board and the planning commission so they can make their own decisions on what they'd like to hear and how they'd like to be educated with regards to the development in this, this community. It's not up to you. No, I it's not up to the planning commission uh, chairman because he got a copy as well. Was that mailed here also? Pardon? Was that mailed here also? Was it mailed here also? I'm sorry. It certainly was. You got the copy. And we're worried about copies when not all these board packets are always okay. five eighths of an inch thick. Well, I said on both of those boards, and I, I appreciate seen that. that, and we'll try to work on getting that out there better. And I appreciate everybody. that. Yep. And there's one other thing that when you spoke and said that Tristan Cole had written this letter, uh, Tristan Cole would not have written anything to this nature. This grant will help our community to connect with the surrounding communities from across the state. High-speed broadband is made for the entire world. You can speak to anybody by voice over internet protocol. You can work with information worldwide. This is not across the state. Tristan Cole would have never written anything like that, nor would he have written anything like Nancy read to you earlier. Uh, it, this, this letter is poorly, very poorly written to represent our community. Very That's why we were going to go through it before it went out. It makes no difference. Like Nancy said, it's already been submitted as of today at 5 o'clock. They can't put anything else in the packet. So you can you can do whatever you choose. He may look at it and say thank you, but that's about all he can do. Yep. Say it. Yeah. Um, first, I'd like to... Um, address the signatory that Nancy was concerned about. And I believe her concern, at least mine is, your signatory is on file, but it does not allow you to make decisions for this board. Is that correct? Without I the board's... I to do any answers, but yes, that's correct. I mean, I would assume that you wouldn't do anything that wasn't approved by the board. Correct. Okay, and then next, um, Dave Guest uh, was approached by a member of the board and not to put anyone on the spot, but I would like to know, Dave, can you say who, who approached you? Well, I'm sorry, your public comments have to address the I board. would like you to ask Dave who approached him. No. And you won't, so I will find out later. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's and we'll make it public, so if there's a problem for you. Um, and then thirdly, all over the last how many years? Two years, maybe? Almost three. I have tried to work and talk with this board, communicating in a hopefully learning experience. 
rather than bash them or yell at them or humiliate them. But in the last few months, the way you have spent the money and the way you have processed your decisions in spending that money, I think there are three on this board that need to resign. It may handicap our community for a while, but only for a while. And if the damage that's done is done, but it can be recoverable if we get people competent enough knowing their position and knowing what their jobs are and knowing what qualifications they need to make decisions to hire people to do their job. It may take a little while, but it's going to be a lot less hurtful in the long run if each of you resign. Thank you, Marla. Okay, that's it. Move we adjourn. To support. I'll support. We don't really okay. need a motion, a motion oh, for that, but we'll do it anyway. Excuse me, I've done it right.